Hello YouTube. So today we are trying to pull for Chevreuse. Uh, unfortunately, I don't want constellations on Raiden, so I'll be pulling on Kinnish. And I'm not the biggest fan of Kinnish. Uh, so hopefully we can get her. I just need one copy, C0, and I'm out, right? I have my, um, my Sarah is on uh, C1, so one copy of Sarah would be nice also. My Toma is C6, so getting Thomas is a uh, no-no. And yeah, one copy of Chevreuse. My PT is literally zero. So yeah, I'm quite confident we can do it in like less than one PT, but let's see. First temple, it's purple. No, no Kinnish, no Kinnish, thank you. Okay, walk. It, it's not a bad pull. Next is a guaranteed one of the three. It's not gonna be in this tempo, okay? <laughs> I'm tempted to do singles. <laughs> that's that's how afraid I am. Okay. Ideally, Sarah. I was gonna say ideally one Sarah and then Chevreuse, and we're, we're done. So Sarah is done, C2. She's still so far from C6, but again, they keep putting her in Raiden Banner. And I don't want Raiden Constellation, so yeah, it's... Uh... Alright, 30 pulls. Surely Chevreuse, and that's it! That's it! That's it! We're good! No accident, no catastrophe. Alright, thank you for the speech. I can skip now. <laughs> we got double Toma later. Okay. Okay, so 30 pulls. We got one Chevros, one... Um, uh, one Sarah. And as you can see, I even put the team that I wanted to play Chevros with. Um, to be fair, I went for Chevreuse because of these three. So, because I have Arlequino, Chlorand, and Raiden, I had, I had to try to pull for a 4-star, which is always not the best idea. But uh, yeah, we got her, now we're gonna level her up and try her out in these teams. Alright, so my Chevreuse is now level 90 with 40k HP, 25% crit rate, 87% crit damage, and 218% energy recharge. I built her as a support, so I gave her a Favonius Lance R5. She has a Noblesse Artifacts with triple HP. She is Constellation 0, and she is on Talent 8-8. You're not required to level this up. Uh, basically, this is for more healing. And um, at this level, with 40k HP, you get around 2100 HP of healing per tick for your character on field. And this is for the damage, basically. But you, you can basically play her with level 111 talents, and you will still get the rest shred and the attack percent buff that she gives to the teams through her passive. But to get that attack buff, you need to get to that 40k HP um, limit. So yeah, try to get her to 40k. And if you play her with Favonius, try to give her a little bit of crit rate so she generates particle. Pretty happy with this build. My only issue is that she is on Noblesse and in a lot of teams I'm gonna be playing her. She will be with Bennett and uh, yeah, Bennett is also on Noblesse. Ideally what you wanna do in that case is you put her either on Song of Days Past or on Ocean Hood Clan. And uh, yeah, since I don't have these sets farmed on my account, as you can see this one only has uh, attack percent um, pieces because I, I uh, farmed it a little bit for my Xianyun. So yeah, I can't really uh, give her another set. You can basically do two-piece HP, two-piece HP. You can put her on an emblem for a little bit more damage and stuff like that, right? But I'm not just gonna be swapping my artifacts all the time uh, between teams. So it is what it is, right? I'll just keep her on Noblesse uh, and it will do. But yeah, that's that's the build and uh, yeah, let's go right into the testing and let's start with the Raiden team. All right, so the first team I'm gonna try her with is a Raiden team. A small tip for team building with Chevreuse, when you run her with an Electro DPS like uh, Raiden, you want to have a good Pyro Applier, like Xiangling, for example, to keep proccing the overload. So basically the rest shred 
for Pyro and Electro keeps happening because the overload is, you know, consistently proccing. And when you play her with Pyro DPS, you want like a strong Electro applier, someone like Fischl, for the same reason. So in this team, Shangling is there to basically proc the overload, but also uh, do a lot of damage. So let's see. We start with this, we proc the overload here with Shaf. Should have probably do the Bennett E after the ult, but as you can see, we, yeah. we instantly one rotate a Simon pretty easily, right? Um, but yeah, this team is pretty good. I like it. Um, and yeah, Raiden helps battering. Uh, the damage is pretty cool. Um, but wait a second. I just noticed <laughs> that my Raiden is not built correctly for this team. She is uh, basically on um, attack percent and attack percent. So yeah, maybe I should swap the bit before doing this. Oh boy, what a fail. But it's okay, it's okay. We did like 189, right? 189k with the Raiden that is not built for this team. Uh, this is basically her Furina build. So let me just swap the artifacts real quick. Uh, I need an Electro Goblet. Yes, this one. And now my Raiden is properly built for this. Uh, Alright, so let's do this again. Two hundred K. Yeah, that's that's better, right? So eleven K more on the initial slash of Raiden. So yeah, pretty pretty cool team. So let's try Chloran now. All right, so we put our Chloran in, and as you can see in this team, it's gonna be really annoying to proc the overload at first. Because otherwise, it's either you use Chlorant Alt or 1E and then go back to Chevreuse to get the overload first. It's a pretty annoying, right? So for more confidence, what we're going to do is go we're going to get rid of Bennett. We're going to try Toma. And we're going to get Fischl here for the damage, but also for the overload. Talking at the beginning. Yeah. Let's run this and see how it goes, right? So we start with Fischl. Us, talking the overload. Get the. We gotta do this again. Yeah, almost one rotated him. Which is pretty good, right? Let me try again because I'm pretty sure I messed up the rotation at some point. Oh, oh it's still here. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. So let's see, we go again. Official E. Oh. This. Start with the E. Then we can do this. And this is basically the rotation, yeah. And you rinse and repeat. Okay. Pretty cool, pretty cool. This is um this feels good to play actually. It it seems a little bit less uh, powerful than the Raiden variant, but Raiden had uh, the Bennett buff and uh, Shangling damage. Meanwhile, in here, uh, it's basically Fischl and Chloran doing the heavy lifting. But yeah, a pretty pretty cool team. Let's uh, try now my uh, Arlequino with Chevreuse and see how it goes. All right, so my Arlequino is in, and now we're gonna play her with Fischl, Chevreuse, and Bennett and see how it goes. Okay. All right. Mm, so let's do this. Rock the overload. <laughs> And go crazy. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Arakino is obviously extremely powerful, but yeah, this team seems to be pretty easy to play actually. But yeah, I wonder if I could like have another variant. But yeah, you can have different other variants, I guess, if you want to add a defensive utility for Arakino, either by adding Toma or Beido actually. And I uh, wonder if it goes well with Beidou. So we get rid of uh, Bennett. 
We get Beidou in. Then we play something like this. I think that this is also, especially in AoE, pretty good, right? Uh, it's not gonna be that crazy against this guy, but yeah. Let me just get my Beidou ult real quick. I'm gonna start with the ult. I don't have um, the E on official. And I didn't. Oh my god. I completely forgot to E on Alekino. Probably started with the ult first, but... Yeah, and you can go back and forth between Beidou to battery her. That's 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 fine. I guess it's a uh, it's an alternative. And again, Alekino is so powerful, and can carry this, right? Beidou and uh, Fischl are gonna do a lot of damage too. So yeah, with the rest shred from Pyro and Electro, this team is. Uh, I mean, it it feels less comfortable to play compared to the Fischl, Bennett, and Chevron's team, but it is an alternative, right? And I guess I can swap Beido uh, for Toma and so on. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. So what to think of Chevreuse? Well, in my opinion, she is a good character to have on an account that is relatively cheap to build and feels complete at C0. Her C6 makes Overload team pretty competitive, but it's far from being a must have. In fact, if you want to play her as a support, it's either C0 or C6. The other constellations don't really matter, which is a good thing for me because people don't get baited by pulling the constellations in between. Something to note is that she might feel more useful for me, because I have three DPS that appreciate having her, Chlorin, Raiden, and Arlecchino, and getting to play these characters in different archetypes brings more fun and adds variety to the game. For example, I really enjoyed having a Bennett team on one side of the Abyss, while I have a Chevreuse Overload team in the other side. My only issue with her is that she is a 4 star that is not in the shop, so there's no way to guarantee her. I've seen some pretty horrific pulling session where the person tries to pull for one copy of Chevreuse and end up wasting tons of primos and not getting her. Again, I feel like Hoyo could have addressed this issue by either adding characters in the shop rotation or introduce some kind of epitomized path but for the 4 stars on the character banner. Surely now that Hoyo is listening, they will fix that in the near future, right? Right? But yeah, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Genshin content. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye!